here's what should be a quick little project. Didn't even have to take this one apart to diagnose one of the issues. This is an old, probably uh, 20 year old wind up radio you know, with a solar cell built into it. But as I was looking at it, and it's clear plastic, I noticed that uh, we can see that there's a couple of capacitors in there that have swelled up and have spilled their guts out all over inside. The, uh, the clear case so they definitely need to be replaced and you know since the case is clear it can actually read that they're what 6800 microfarads at six and a half volts so I've got a couple on order this thing does work though sorta <laughs> sometimes it works Maybe it's those capacitors that are need to reform occasionally, but uh, sometimes you turn this on and it works and sometimes it doesn't, so I guess I'll change those out and see if that's part of the problem. Certainly they're bad. Alright, got some new uh, electrolytic capacitors here for the radio. Looks like they're the right size. So I pulled this thing apart and luckily this whole clock spring wind up mechanism stays as one piece over here on this side of the radio. And uh, the actual radio board is on this side. So what I think I'll do is unscrew it and see if I can get to the back of those to get them unsoldered. Uh, Alright, I just uh, pulled the volume control knob off the front of the radio and undid a few screws and the <coughs> radio board came right out. There's the two bad capacitors right there. I'll just unsolder them. And I took a little bit of Windex here and paper towel and cleaned up the solder guts that had spilled out of this. Since this is a clear radio and you can see that from the outside, I'll clean that up. Make it look a little bit better. So I got the soldering iron all heated up. So I'll go ahead and pull those caps out. Put the new ones in. See if that makes a difference. All right, got all our radio back together with the new little capacitors right in there. And this does have a little solar cell. So let's hold it up the light here and see if. Contact with Biden, Harris, or other staffers since those test okay. results came back. So that's working. Now. Go ahead and wind it up a little bit. Tracing is underway. An update on rising COVID numbers in the country from CBS's Cammy McCormick. And that works too. So it looks like a little wind up radio is repaired. Now here are the bad parts, of course. And if you know the exploded ends is not enough convince you that these are bad. Let me go ahead and do some measurements here and show you. Okay, this measures out at uh, that on capacitance. It's supposed to be a 68,000, a 6,800 microfarad and it's, was that, 1.4 yeah, nanofarads. So not too good. And then here's a good one, of course. And it measures out at uh, about 7,000, a little over 7,000 microfarads. So, and the same thing with the uh, ESR meter. This reads infinite. Um, and then these, of course, since they're high uh, capacitance, electrolytics should read a, it reads a fraction of an ohm. So, difference between good and bad. But obviously, you got an exploded top there and the guts have spilled out all over the radio, you know, those are bad. There you go. Simple, inexpensive repair. I think those were like, you know, 70, 80 cents a piece. Bought 10 of them. And the radio's working again.